Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to solve this problem. The shortcut way and the standard way. We have two cars here coming towards each other. The first car here, let me call it car A. And this one should be B. Car A is moving at a speed of 40 km per hour, while car B is moving at the rate of 35 km per hour which means that this one is moving faster and the distance between them at initial point is 150 km. So we have two questions here. The first question is when, that is talking about time, when are they going to meet each other at exactly maybe where this point collides with this point? That's the first question talking about time. And what will be the distance covered by each car at that particular point? So let me show you the, the, the traditional way to do that. Uh, since this one is moving faster, let's assume they are going to meet at a certain point here, which is closer to this car. So from this car down here, we're going to assume it is X. Then from here down here would be what? 150 minus x because the total distance apart is 150 if this one has covered one uh, x this one will cover the rest of the values by subtracting x from 150 so remember that speed speed is equal to distance divided by time right divide by time so what should we find first let us find distance first so the distance will be what? Speed times time. So let's say that distance is equal to speed. Let me call it just S. ST, speed times time. So let's start with this first car. Um, the distance covered is X, right? So it will be X equal to, the speed is 40, 40 kilometers. Let me just call it 40. Then remember they have the same time. The time they will take to meet at this point will be the same. So let me leave it as T. Then the other car would be the distance is what? 150. 150 minus X equal to what? 35 T. 35 T. So we can solve these two equations simultaneously. Uh, I think we can add the two equations together. Let me bring this one down here it will be 150 minus x equal to 35t. Let's add them together. Once you add them together, you have only 150 here because x and negative x will cancel and this is equal to 75t. So time t will be equal to what? Dividing both sides by 75. Uh, 150 divided by 75 will give us exactly two, two hours. So after two hours, they are going to meet. So, so time taken for them to collide is two hours. And I told you that this time is the same for each car. So what will be the distance covered by each car? I think we can take this value, which is T, and plug it somewhere. I think, let us plug it here. Let's use this equation where we have x equal to 40t, but t is 2, remember. Therefore, x is equal to 80, which means that this particular car will cover 80 kilometers. And what about this one? It will cover uh, 150 minus 80 is 70, 70 kilometers. So this is that. So let me show you a shortcut way to do that. First of all, we need to find the relative speed of A and B, relative. Would be the sum of the two speeds, right? 40 and 35, which is going to give us 75. 75 kilometer per hour. Then the time, taken would be equal to 150 kilometer, which is 
they are distance apart. Divide by relative speed, which is 75 kilometer per hour. And this will give us exactly two hours. Two hours. So they are going to spend two hours before they meet. And to find a distance each car covered before they collide, just take two hours, you multiply by the speed. It will give you the distance. Remember, distance equal to speed times time. So once you multiply 40 by 2, you get 80 kilometer. That is the distance covered. And once you multiply this by 2, you're going to get um, 70 kilometers. And if you add 80 and 70, you have to get 150 kilometer. Simple as that.